Hi everyone, I thought I would touch base with you on the AutoCAD version of drawing the angle spacer as well. Uh, as you can tell, I've already got up my template. I've opened it up. Uh, I'm going to do a save as immediately. So I'm gonna come up here and hit save as. I can do it here or I can do it from the big red A, either one. So let's do it from here and say save as. And I'm gonna put it in the proper folder and we're gonna call it angle spacer and T-clip. Remember, we're gonna have both drawings on the same page. So I'm gonna do that, then we'll hit save. So now I'm in AutoCAD. Now I'm gonna to go to my line command. Now I could use rectangle command. That is a possibility, right? Here's my rectangle command. I could do that. Either one works fine. I'm gonna use my line command here. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna drag over. It's three inches wide, drag up. It's two inches tall, back across three inches, or I can come here and hover and drag up, and then back down. So there's my box. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say enter. Okay, I'm gonna put this where I want it. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut these corners off. Now I can use the chamfer command to do this. There's two ways, I can either chamfer or I can locate it precisely. I'm gonna do it both ways since I've got two corners. What I would do if I didn't have a chamfer command was I would click on line, and notice this is measured from this corner, it's three quarters to here and then another inch over, so one and three quarters. So I'm gonna hover, drag across, and type in 1.75. And I'm just gonna put me a little line right there and I'm gonna say enter, okay? I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna repeat my line command. I'm gonna hover here and drag up, it's one and a quarter inches up to here. I'm gonna drag over and I'm gonna say enter, okay? Now I can put a line between them. Okay, and hit enter. I'm gonna change my pick box and make it the right size. I need a five pick box, it's just easier to see. Okay, so there's that. Now, I can do one of two things. I can either trim these or I can drag them back. Either one's fine. I'm gonna use the trim command. I'm gonna use this as my cutting plane. I'm gonna hit enter. And I'm gonna get rid of that and that. So there, there's what I need. I'm gonna hit enter because I'm done. I'm gonna just click on that and say delete, click on this and say delete. I could also use the erase command up here. So there's that corner. The other way of doing a corner is chamfer. So underneath fillet is the chamfer command. Now notice what it says. I gotta read multiple lines. Right now my distance one is set at zero, distance two is at zero. I wanna change those distances. So I'm gonna click distance, my distance one. So from here over is 0.75. So I'm gonna type in 0.75 and hit enter. Now. From here down, because this is the corner I'm going to cut off, I don't have a measurement. But what I've got is I've got one and a half up and the whole thing is two inches tall. So from here down, it would be 0.5. Okay? Now it says select first line. This is where you have to remember. This is the one I did the three quarter on. This is the one I did the half on. And it'll automatically do it for you. Okay? So that's really neat. All right, the other thing I need to do is I need to put my cut out here. So again, I'm going to go back into line. I'm going to hover. Notice I'm not clicking, I'm gonna drag up and it's a quarter of an inch up. Now it's back into the object, 0.75. It's up a half of an inch and back over to here and touching. I'm gonna hit enter and get out of the command. Now I'm gonna use my trim again and I'm gonna pick this and this is my cutting edge. I'm gonna hit enter. Now it says select the object to trim. I wanna get rid of that and hit enter. Okay, so there's that. Now I need to put the circle here. Okay, so how do I find where that circle goes? Well, the easiest way is to go into the line command and hover. It's one inch in and one inch up to the center point. So I'm gonna drag across one inch and hit enter for my start point. Drag up and hit one inch. Now I'm gonna hit enter. The end point of the line is now the center point of the circle. That circle is one inch in diameter. Now right now I'm in radius. If I click on it, I can change it to a diameter but what I do on this, if I do that, so I'm gonna click. If you notice down here at the bottom, it says locate center point. So I'm gonna click and drag out. Now I'm in diameter. So if I wanna do this, I have to put half my distance. I could change down here to diameter. Now it's doing that and it's one inch. So there's that. Pretty easy, huh? So the last thing I need to do is put my center line in. So how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm just gonna use this line that I've got here. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag this up. I'm gonna grab it again, I'm gonna drag it, I'm gonna tell it to go up another quarter of an inch. Now I'm gonna drag this one up to here, and I'm gonna drag it back down a quarter of an inch, okay? So there's that line, I'm gonna hit enter. 
But notice something. If I click on that line, up here it says it's on the object layer. I want it on the center layer. So I'm going to click, and I'm going to change it to center. And now look, it's the right line. So now what do I want to do? Well, I want to rotate this. Well, one thing I need to do to be sure is I need to make sure that everything's set the way it needs to be set. So if I click here, beside the box with the green dot, and hit Object Settings, one, you want to make sure that you've got Midpoint checked. You want to make sure you've got Quadrant checked. Geometric center and node. Get all of those checked, okay? And hit OK. But instead of hitting OK, let's go to polar tracking. Let's change this to 45, okay? So there's the two things we need to do. We're going to hit OK. Now I'm going to go to mirror. And I'm going to mirror this line. That's what it says. Pick up the object. That's all I want. So I'm going to hit Enter. Now it says specify first point of the mirror line. Center of that line. Now I specify second point. I can drag 45 degrees. And it creates a horizontal. Do I want to get rid of my source object? No, I want to keep it. So there's my drawing. And that's how you complete the angle spacer in AutoCAD. I will do a quick update with another video on how to set up AutoCAD to make sure you've got all your settings where you want it. Remember, you really need to use a mouse. Do not try to do this on a, a finger pad. Have a great day.